Gotcha. No way. Oh. Oh. Right at the freaking bait. Oh, this is so good. Oh my gosh. Look at that. He just completely inhaled it. Get, oh. Surely not. There is trout everywhere in here, sitting under these ledges. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, this is insane. There's sharky coming on this edge. Shark? Yeah. Got like a um, little school of bludgers or something over here. Gotcha. No way. No way. Check this ledge out here. Absolutely incredible. There is so many fish sitting underneath them too. Just got to get them to poke their heads out. Some of them over there. It's emperor. Tusky. Gotcha. <sighs> yeah. I've pulled hooks on like five trout now. I'm not even kidding. Welcome back, guys. What a day. What a location. It's glassy. And today, we're gonna be micro jigging reef holes. We've downsized all our tackle. Presentations are really tiny. So little baby squid tracks, bird tracks, uh, swim, swim tracks. Sea gypsies, gypsies, Yeah, sorry. sea gypsies. We had a really good morning this morning. We caught a heap of fish on the edges. So we will be taking you back to that. But for the moment, check it out. Like, it is so clean today. So still, so clean. We've just... got these isolated bommies here. We've got another bommie out there. I legit, legit, I can see a fish under that bommie on the ledge there. Little baby trout, I'd say. So that's the plan today. We're going to be going and fishing all these little isolated bommies. 
pitching around to them, digging our lures back out, and um, we're going to see how we go. Look at that trout right there. Yeah, absolutely incredible. The bait, the clarity of the water is unreal today. So micro absolutely digging unreal. reef holes. That is the plan today, which I'm actually pretty surprised at the clarity of the water because we did just have a cyclone come through about a week ago. So I was not expecting the water clarity to be this good. And we are actually in one of the closest reefs to Mackay today as well, so. Yeah, we had an absolutely stunning, stunning run out today. Beautiful. It was almost winterish. So you get that beautiful sunrise in the morning when the sky's nice and pinkish. It was one of those runs, it was stunning. Absolutely stunning still. Early start, big day. Hey, we've had a lot of fun already. We're gonna take you back to the start. When we take you back to the start, we'll be doing a little tackle talk on the lures that we're using. And then at the end of the episode, we're going to take you back to the shed and we're going to do tackle room. So yeah, make sure you stick around for that one too. I'll probably butt in. Yeah, and just remind you, hang around. We're going to be doing that tackle talk at the end. So go through all the gear, the line, the rods, the reels, everything we use today for micro digging reef holes. Radio. Let's give you a look at the micro box. That's, That's the a... smallest tackle tray we own. <laughs> Lots of small things in there. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Right here. So, today we are going to be dropping the Nomad Gypsy in 20 gram. Tiny. <laughs> tiny, tiny jig. So, gonna give you a look at everything out of the packets too so that is it there it is not not very big at all it's so cute <laughs> 20 grams <laughs> tiny probably not a bad imitation for a white bait that so that's gonna be fun we are also dropping the vertrex which is pretty cool little soft bite what else we got we got the swim tracks, which is a hard vibe. Again, tiny profiles. Has that got a rattle in it? Some do have rattles and something off that one does have a rattle, so that's gonna be good. The one and only and the smallest one that they have, Nomad Squid Tracks. So nice. that is tiny. Actually I do have the big fella here, so We'll give you a look. That's just cute. Let's be honest. <laughs> the two different sizes. Check that out. One is gigantic. The other is just baby. So this one here is the new 600 gram. That is a 600 grammer. But that is not a small, small squid boy by any means. But that guy there, he's tiny. And I believe that one's the 65. 65. Gram? No, it's 65 mil. No, 65 mil. So 65 mil in length. I can't remember, it's like 7 gram or something. But it is tiny, tiny, tiny. So, <laughs> this one would probably eat that one. Super, super small. What else we got in here? That's kind of what they look like when they come out of packaging, so. Yeah. Squid tricks, fur tricks. Yeah, that's a look at the tackle. That's a look at the... What are you going to start with? We've got some slightly bigger models here too, so... Put the Vertrex, so obviously we're running two different outfits today. One's going to be slightly lighter tackle and this, if we get into an area where we think, oh, we'll drop a little slightly bigger vibe down, that's what's going to be right there. So we'll drop a couple of big Vertrex vibes down. But yeah, that's a look at all the little lures and vibes we're using today. It's going to be fun. start with 
we're going to fish the edges. We're going to work our way along this reef edge here, and then eventually we're going to jump up on the reef flat. So, so as you can see, I'm working my way along the edge, and we're going to focus on that 15 to 30 meters of water. 30? I reckon 30 would probably be the deepest, but with these neap tides, not much current, not much run, so getting those lures down should be ideal for it. Oh, whacked. Yep, got him. That's good fun. Another little whack. Just getting into that zone now, 17 meters of water. Ooh, stripey. There you go. So I know guys that come to the reef just to catch these guys because of their table quality so you you wouldn't think so but that's just a little guy super pretty but not only they're great eating but if you're going to do live baiting anything that dwells around actually you can see right here i'm not even joking someone's tried to bite that on the way up so they're a great live bait these grow up to about 40 centimeters too i think they grow pretty big and they're commonly them. known for their six stripes along their side Wow, you getting smart there? Yeah. Not to strike so hard because it's so used to. Hey, just be mindful if you cross. Yep. Great little fish. You on? Oh, I'm on. I'm on. That's number two. Oh my gosh! Look at this thing. What do you call that? What have you got? I don't know. It's like a baby wrasse or something. Look at that. Isn't it stunning? Oh. Beautiful. Is that not a baby Maori? Ooh. Like a juvenile baby? The spot up here, we'll be able to identify him, I reckon, with that spot there. That totally looks like a baby Maori rat. No way, guys. Oh, hurting. Hey guys, make sure you stick around to the end of the video. We're gonna be doing the tackle talk. We're gonna talk about what rods and reels and leader line, everything that we used in this episode. So. For now, I'll let you get back to action. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Oh, it popped me off. <laughs> no. A new little tree worked out here. What have we got here? Yeah. I do. What are you, man? What are you? Oh, it is too. No way. Ooh, He's beautiful. He choked on a proper. Look at that. Look at him changing colours already. He is beautiful. Spots. And all the weird coloration going on here. Check all that out. Stunning fish. He choked on that swim tracks. She gone. Proper choked. That's a cool looking fish, eh? That, he's pretty awesome. And perfect eating size. Flash. Woo wee. How good. Well, we just made it to the first reef hole and it is just absolutely stunning. The water is so clean today and it's just, just wow. Wow. 0.5, literally 0.5 deep. But just have a go, check this out. Check it out, check out the life. Look at the fish life in here. That's incredible. Hun, it's beautiful. Oh, it's so stunning. I actually want to have a swim. Oh, I've got visibility. Like, honestly, you can see bombies out, out to about 100 metres. Clear as day. Perfect side casting conditions. And here we are, micro jigging. 
how's the arena? So plan is, we've got the squid tracks tied on. We're going to go through and just slowly pitch to some of these bombies that you can see, like those sorts of bombies, and just hop them out, just slowly jig them back out. So a little bit different, but very exciting. All visual, you can see everything. I see a school of fish over there. We've got a turtle up there on the flat. Beautiful bombies. Corals unreal. Absolutely beautiful. Right out. Let's get into them. So you can kind of see what we're doing is we're getting up nice and tight along this edge here. And the fish are like hiding in up under all the caves. So we're casting in, kind of letting it flutter down in front of the cave and then just coming out and going bash. Uh, it's all visual, like a lot of it's all sight casting, but it's an exciting way of doing it. Fish are not big, but still a lot of fun. And different, right? And when you get these neat tides that we got at the moment, got him, that's a good fish. On cue. If we can get this one in the boat, we'll be doing great. That is just epic. So like I was saying, neap tides is not a great deal you can do. Still catch fish, but it can be tough. And um, this is exciting. Light tackle, micro jigging, and vibing in these reef holes is just epic. Absolutely epic fun. And that's no, that's no pushover, like they pull. He's cool, very cool. Some form of the em emperor family, this guy. Uh, very cool. They're a little bit crazy, these guys, um, so I might need the pliers. How good. <sighs> Get me. That's epic, hey. Look, Trady, Trady, here comes a big cod. Holy. What have you got? I had a baby cod, but there is a big cod under that ledge too. Oh, that's a pretty cod. It's pretty, eh? See if you can catch the bigger one. Oh, yeah, yeah he's on it, he's on it. I feel like I might have to change that one of yours. That, that's a good oh, it, oh, popped me off. Well, that didn't last long, did it? Ah, oh, seriously. Oh, maybe he'll eat it again. Well, you got all sorts of stuff down there. Oh, yep, yep, you got him. Get it, get him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> up him, up him. Oh, no. That's two in a row. I'm still standing here with my line. Wow. All busted up. Oh. Oh, gosh. Hey, you gave my leader back. What a champion. Ah. That's epic. That's so funny. He didn't even know he had it. <laughs> Look at the size of that trouty down there. Beautiful, but they're all just sitting in these ledges, eh? This is, um... It's crazy. We're going to run out of gear. I feel like he wouldn't eat an old bait, though. Crustaceans, crabs and crustaceans. Look at the bait there on that bomb bomb. There's got to be bigger fish on that, man. Who's this? Oh, oh, gotcha. Get him. 
<laughs> we got you, mate. We got you. Oh, that is. Oh. <laughs> he ate it and just sat there. I'm like, is he hooked or is he not hooked? A GT fight almost. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. Oh, awesome. you're good at that. Oh, that's epic. Look at the lead all chased. He went to his hidey and then he came back up and literally only just got him. How epic is that? All side casting, mind you. But how damn good he nearly got me you can see i don't know if you can see the, the leader but it's all like frayed so he actually went into his hidey i got him out turned his head come back to the button you can see he's all getting stressed now so you can see him changing his colors and all his patterns and spots yeah he's all stressed just like me me there for a second hour. <laughs> what a fish these fights are just awesome on this little tackle check how shallow we are not much water under the back of the boat Oh, that's like that's a good trouty hole. That's where they get you. So this bait down here is what we call white bait. It is primarily the main food source for a lot of the reef species out here. Trouties are prolific. If you can find the white bait, most of the time you'll find just about everything else. Creates the food chain. The underwater food chain. But that is pretty cool. Many, 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 many white bait. Size of that one there. What do you call him? Oh, he went to China. Oh, Trouty. Oh, oh. God. No way. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> hey, blubber guards. Oh, you know you there you like go. You totally had ya. Buddy. Uh, another little species today, not a little one, but these guys are definitely the like garbage disposal, the garbage disposals of the reef. Beautiful flowery little cod. Super slimy this sucker, but gorgeous fish, hey? Oh. He totally had you too. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was jammed in the reef. So I went over to get it, and then all of a sudden, this guts. But check out the colours on him. The blacks are black, and you can see why they just go in the reef amongst it, and you can't see them. Stunning. Be nice. Don't splash me. Oh. <laughs> Gotcha. Oh, okay. I'm on. We're all sorts down there. We've got trout, stripies. That's a good stripe, you mind you. Wow. Yeah, it's cool. Got a few fish hanging off that bommie over there. I'm not sure what they are, but we'll see how we go.
Gotcha. Uh, uh. Uh, got me. Oh. Uh. It's my second fish already. Oh, they go hard around these little bommies, eh? Got a bigger one coming out there too. Come, buddy. Look at this. We've got two of them out here. We've got a Spango. And we've got something else going on here too, look. Cod sitting underneath him. That is so rad. So rad. Look at him go. Some sort of a clam. Mary Ann's at the water at the back there. We should be seeing what that is. It's like a blue clam. Some other cool fish. That's a big emperor. Some sort of an emperor. Part of the emperor family. Um, look at that. Isn't that... Isn't that epic? Check out these fish down the bottom here. That's wild. Proper. Wow. Yeah. There he goes. It's crazy. Coddy over here. Look at this cod. I'll go catch this cod. Everything's all visual. Look at this guy. He's going flat out on the flat. Look. Where? Over here. Yep, yep, yep. He's on it. Oh, this is my favorite kind of reef. It looks like grass. It literally is grass, isn't it? I don't know. No, I don't think so. I think it's pretty hard. Look at this. Look at this um, squid out here. Look. Oh, there's bigger fish to catch. Oh, what are you? Gotcha! Wow, they come out and hit it so hard. And they're quick. Okay, we're going to go back to the old zane. It's a form of trout species. Yes, definitely. Check out this white bait, just showering. That is wild. We're almost guaranteed to catch something in this hole. The amount of white bait that just came out of it, insane, like literally. You watch this. Oh, whack straight up. Oop, and again. Got him. Oh, get up. Oh. Pull, can pull, another one of these emperor things, unreal. He pulled hard. Okay mate. That's it. We're down to our last two <laughs> Vertrex, literally. <laughs> All the squid tricks gone. And I think we've got two 20 grand gypsies left. So it's been a fun morning, nonetheless. Um, we might have to see what else we've got in the tackle trays. But yeah, last two, one of these. Let's go it's get bringing it. a knife to a gunfight today, isn't it, really? Oh, it, it is. It's a lot of fun. You go light, you get the bite. But we are getting those bigger fish coming out and eating the smaller fish so it's um 
chain effect. It's a cruel world. It is a cruel All world. Around. <laughs> it's a cruel world for us as well. We want our lures back. <laughs> anyway, it is. It's been a great day. It's working a treat. It's so awesome. Let's keep going. I want to catch another one. So what'll happen is literally that stripe you'll be doing that kicking crazy you'll end up getting a big cod coming out oh, to have a look which hasn't happened in this case but they're savage wow the old stripey you got trout down there oh there's stripey. a trout i don't know what you call them and, um, it's alive down there like truly oh, oh yep Oh, what do you Come here. That's a good size stripey. That would have to be stripey of the day. Stripey of the day. He's a um, beautiful looking fish. Wow. Are you serious? What are you? Is it a tusky? I feel like if it was a little bit smaller, the lure. There's another one. What are you? Oh, check this out here. That's incredible. Incredibly beautiful. Look at it all coming back this way. Oh. Oh, oh good fish too. Oh, good fish too. Oh, what is going on? Got you the time. Oh, oh. oh look, your fish, your fish. What is it called? Football. Football. No. I swear to God, he ate it. I lost him. Stop! I'm so glad you lost that fish. He's still there. Come look quick. Poke your head over. I'm not even kidding. Check, check, check down there. Get your, get another rod. Get another rod. Drop it to him under the shark. Under the shark. Yeah. There's a lot of trout here. Oh. But we're on. A little bit of weight. Oh, oh, babe. Babe. No. <laughs> no, you fall off. No, don't go. Oh. No. <laughs> I'm not happy about that at 12 all! Years. 12 years! It's taken me 12 years! Oh, this is not good! Are you kidding? I love it! <laughs> I love it! No! God damn it! So the real... <laughs> oh, That's pretty epic. That has That's made the trip, guys. Epic! That is, honestly, I do not know how long well, I've been fishing the reef. I've seen about three of these guys out here. Three of them. That's it. And I've just caught one of the three I've ever seen. And look, to be fair, the reason why I sounded disappointed was that me and Will have always had this thing about the first person to put a football trout in the boat, and he's just done it. That has made my trip. <sighs> been doing this for a long time, and hey, I've, like I said, I've only probably ever seen three of them out here. So to put one in the boat, it is literally another dream come true for me. Beautiful fish, so stoked. And for those who don't know, what were you saying before? So these are actually juvenile blue stop spot trout. So you'll see some of the big dinos that Will's caught, caught in the past. I'll try and put one up for a good example. But they really keep this color pattern here along their black backs. 
that they lose all of this yellow. So these are really kind of a trophy fish on the flats. They really They're are. They're just a stunning. Just, just wow. I'm so stoked. I'm actually really happy for you, babe. So stoked. This is oh, awesome. Okay, let's get him back. Yeah. Uh, right, guys. We are literally down to our last two vertex. That is it. Whatever happens now will be the end of it. So you're either going to catch one or I'm going to catch one. Or we're going to be on donations again. Oh, it's been such an epic little day. It's been incredible. Beautiful day. I don't think we were really prepared for the amount of fish that reached We should have been. We should have been better. I just didn't think we'd get the reaction out of the fish like we did, to be honest, because we everything's sight casted pretty well, and it's been within five meters of the boat. So usually, a lot of the fish will get spooked, but most of the time we're using much bigger lures too. So it's been really good, good response. Fish have been firing too, which is always awesome. Gotcha! Oh, it has been like that the whole day, hey. Got him. Oh, How'd you go? No. Alright, right, let's go. Hopefully next cast. How deep do you reckon too? That's super shallow up there, yeah, and that's a heavy lure, so I'll be getting that back in for you. Fishing the edges. Holy moly! <laughs> Go, Thomas! Look at him go! Chase that tail. Oh, whacked! Gotcha! Oh, long Thomas. He's wild, man. What do we got? Oh, what's better than one? <laughs> oh, he's done it! I reckon we should finish it off on that, eh? Before we lose another lure. No way, and Marianne's on too. Oh, it's better than two. Three. Another one. All the same. <laughs> we really don't know what they're called, so we're going to call them juvie trout. Anyone who knows or has got a hunch or has got a, a Google experience, <laughs> That's tell us what they are. Juvie trout for sure. Hey guys, welcome back. What a trip. Hey, what a footballer. And what an amazing day just in general. Um, we're going to be talking about the rods we used, the rods, reels, and line. Um, my effort was a Daiwa TD Black a 701 HXS Cherubin is the model. Uh, it's a wicked little blank. The reel was a TD Sol 5000, and I was running 20 pound J Braid Expedition. That's the new stuff from Daiwa. It is Perfect, absolutely perfect for what we do. Great casting, very strong. The leader, the leader I ran was a Saltiga X-Link, 30 pound fluoro, tough as nails. It's really, really good stuff for what we were doing. It's a little bit stronger than your nylon in being fluorocarbon, so it's great leader, great, great leader. So yeah, that was my rod and reel combo. For Mary Ann's outfit, she was using the TD Black uh, 742 M HFS in humphead model. So that's the model. The reel was a Daiwa Sir Tate 5000 XH. Same thing again, braid was 20 pound and that 30 pound fluoro. Great little combos for what, what we call light tackle on the flats. That's actually one of my favorite little reels. They are made indestructible, the Sir Tate, Sir Tate range. So, and I also ran the same braid and the same leader, but I'll link everything in all of our videos, all the gear that we use. I always write it in the description below. So if you want to get on there, there's links to all the websites. Absolutely. But from here on out, we just want to say thanks again. If you made it as far, thanks for watching. We want to keep doing this. We cannot wait to get that little boat out. It's in the middle of getting its full makeover. So that's exciting. If you want to see more of this style of episode on the flats or side casting, make sure you leave a comment. That's the only way we're going to find out. We need to know what you guys want to watch. And we just want to say thank you for, for everyone that's jumped aboard, all the new subscribers. 
If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe because it helps out and leave that comment and drop that like. But for now, we'll see you on the next one.